Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Now today is a little bit different and I've actually I managed to get both my monitor screens working without using a graphics card. Now usually you would have to use a graphics card to use dual screen and stuff like that. Of course you can buy stuff that makes sure you can't you don't have to do that. But when um, I bought this PC, well when I bought all the stuff for the PC, I noticed that the motherboard box said triple monitor support and I was just like, oh cool, that means I can, you know, use two monitors. Now, obviously once I started up the PC I had to do all the Windows stuff and god knows what, uh, i forgotten how much stuff I had to do to be honest. Um and stuff like that. I plugged the both monitors in, but only one worked. So I was trying to look for stuff to give me help on how to, you know, let me use both monitors. So just give me a second. So for those people like who are looking for a computer, a PC to so you can do like YouTube and you can use two monitors at the same time and you don't want to fork out for a graphics card like uh, I don't know well obviously a better one than this I think this is like a one or two gig ra um, uh, graphics card so it's pretty shite to be honest as you can see it's only got the VGA and, D and DVI or whatever it is um, so, I was like, well, I've got a spare graphics card, let's put that in, but I've lost the disc, so I can't, like, properly install it. So I plugged it in, um, to put both of them in, uh, put both monitors in, only one of them worked, and that's the one, the, my Samsung one, not my small uh, monitor. So, I've managed to keep up, like, I've managed to just, uh, stick with the one at the moment, and then, uh, last night, actually, I took, I was, um, I was looking through, like, my PC settings and stuff like that, and noticed that the fact that my motherboard needed, like, an update thing, um, well, it just needed some... Uh, new stuff on it, so I was like, right, okay, I'll do that. And in part of those, though, that list, it said, you know, to use um, dual screens. And I was like, okay, I'll download that. Obviously, took the graphics card out because it wouldn't work with the graphics card in. Obviously, um, plugged both my monitors in. Turn my PC on, and it worked. Now, I don't know if I I haven't really done much research, but this is the um, motherboard that I've got in my PC. So it's from Gigabyte, um, not too much as it were. So it's, the model is F two A seven eight M HD two. Now it's got. Uh, the four ultra four uh, ultra durable four plus thing on it, uh, triple monitor display uh, support. Uh, so it's got a HDMI uh, um, HDMI DVI and D sub, which is a VGA. Um, so yeah, I mean the quality of it is really good. I've had no problems with anything. The heat, um, the heating and stuff like that on it, it, it's everything has stayed below, apart from the um, CPU. As everything else stayed b r roughly below forty degrees, so 
I mean, my um, it's my CPU is the only thing that's water cooled in that in my PC. So yeah, it's it's amazing. Like, but um, yeah. So if you guys um want to well durable um motherboard when you don't have to uh, fork out hundreds of pounds or dollars or whatever on a graphics cards and stuff like that then just use the buy the mod motherboard that I've got and you'll be fine just install the update install everything that needed with the disc and stuff like that and yeah you'll be fine um i mean everything's working both monitors i've got working don't know if you can see like from the reflection of my glasses but of uh, using my left monitor is just like small things that's what she said like uh, small things um like my spotify and emails and that's nice so Probably all of you are probably wondering what game like without the you know the graphics card. And actually, so far, what I can from what I can see, I'm running at a higher uh, FPS than I was with a graphics card. I mean, come on! I this game I um I think it's at like 1080 or 4K or something. Uh, I haven't really looked to be honest, I haven't changed anything. And it's running at literally just under 60 FPS. Um, there are other games obviously. Um, I don't want to like overload the computer, I've literally just started it up so <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, it's literally a few hours after. Shit, shit. Oh, well done, Joe. <laughs> Um, yeah, as I say, it's literally, well, at main menu, um, it's running about 30, well, about 40 odd FPS, but when I'm in game, it's around about 60 FPS, um, I think I'll, I'll actually, um, go So guys, well, I tried to record another game, um, another game was Team Fortress, now the game ran on full screen and I didn't have like control I couldn't see while it was recording um during gameplay. So um yeah, it, it was like a quarter of my screen was like the was showing of like the my background like it is now and the rest was like black. So I don't want to show you guys that because it, you'll just be bored. And on Team Fortress, it was running during gameplay. It was running about uh, well between forty and about one hundred and thirty FPS. Um, obviously, it fluctuated depends on what I was doing. Um, not much lag, as it were, so it wasn't too bad. I uh, highly recommend getting this motherboard, um, obviously, because wh why would I not do that? Because, you know, <laughs> trying to do this and why not? I'm not sponsored to say anything, so just to get that out. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like, subscribe for more videos. Peace out, guys. How'd you get so